Hello, hello, hello. Can you test sound? Hello and good evening. Can you hear me over there? Hello. Okay, okay. So I hope you guys will be able to hear me well. Welcome to the class. Good evening, dear students, dear participants. How are you doing today? Are you ready for the class? How was your day? Can you hear me? Hello, Alex. Can you hear me there? Hello, Monica. Good evening. Hello, Karen. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's see. I think you should be able to hear me. Welcome to the class, ladies, gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to join you in this session today. I hope you're ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are we ready to keep learning more, to keep improving? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Testing sound, one, two, three, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I am here. I can hear. I can hear. I simply I can yes, hear teacher, you. I can hear. Very I can hear cool. you. Very well, very well. Yes, can is an ability. Remember, that was actually what we were studying yesterday. Uh, the module bird can for abilities. Do you remember? Like, I can hear you. I can sing, I can play the guitar. I can cook. How are you, Alex? How are you doing tonight? I, uh, I'm, I'm very, I'm very good. You're very good, huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, nice. yeah. Como podría decir ya comí? 
I already ate. I, ¿Cómo? I already ate. I or Ese ya se dice already. Or, ¿cómo? Perdón. Or, or very. Already. Already. It's a little difficult. Or, oh, oh, very. Oh, very. I already ate. ate. I already ate. I already ate. Creo que tal vez si lo escribe. <laughs> It's already on the chat, Alex. Yes, please. Ya está ahí, caballero. Ahorita. Excelente. Esa, esa que me acabas de preguntar es como... Really? Eh, se usa oh, como para really? un pasado reciente. Uh, I already... Mm -hmm. Como acaba de ocurrir, ¿verdad? Entonces, I ate, yo comí, pero I already ate, yo ya comí, es como que yo acabo de comer. Um, uh -huh. I already, uh, already me dijo, ¿verdad? Already, ahí está, ¿eh? nice. Already, or already, I already ate. Good, good. What did you eat? Did you eat tamales? Uh, pupusas. Nice, nice. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. And how is work? How is work, huh? How is work going on? Good? Pretty good? Yes, yes. Uh, I attend work. Oh, yeah? Yes, uh, actualmente estoy en casa, se diría... Currently. 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 I am. Currently, I am in the house. Está bien así. Uy, se me fue una coma de más ahí. Creo que se me fue una coma de más ahí. Ok, currently I'm... I'm, oh, sí, 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 sí. Es que se me fue el in. Ajá. Sí. I am currently my house. Sería oh. currently, cur, cur, currently, coma, currently. I'm, I'm, puede decir I'm home. I'm home. Mm -hmm. Currently Sin I'm home. Sin ocupar I'm. el posesivo. Ajá, ajá. La otra forma podría ser I'm in my house. I in house. Ah, pues sí. Currently, I in my house. Currently, Así quería decirlo. In my house. In my house. Uh -huh. ¿Por, ¿Por qué la diferencia entre home y house? Se Very good a... question. Uh -huh. Es que es que home es como que más más familiar como como hogar. Uh -huh. Ah, hogar. Y, y, y house es como que oh. la casa en sí, el, físicamente, okay. right? Como más ah, objeto. Correcto. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, ok. Home es como, digamos, mi hogar, en mi familia. Yeah, yeah. Por ejemplo, hay la expresión que dice, home, sweet home. Ah, sueños, sueño de hogar o algo así. Es como hogar, dulce hogar. Sweet ah, es dulce. Okay. Ajá. Home, sí, sweet home. Ah, sí, cierto, sweet. Ajá, dulce. ajá. Y sueño, ¿cómo es que se dice? ¿Cómo sueño? ¿Como soñar? ¿La acción de soñar? ¿O, o, o de que tienes sueño? La acción de soñar. Dream. Ah, dream. dream. Pero con M. Dream. Labios cerrados. Dream. Dream. Uh -huh. Dream. Uh -huh. Dream. Uh -huh. Dream. Pream. y entonces Pream. diferencio de drink? Ahí está, lo dijiste muy bien, drink. Ah, el, el, ah, el sonido, la pronunciación y el otro es dream. Dream, ok, mm -hmm. como, como ahí, como, como tipo agatado ahí, que mm -hmm. dentro de, internamente el, el sonido de la M. Los labios cerrados. Mm -hmm. Y ese ah, es el mm, dream. Ah, dream. Mm -hmm. Dream. Nice, okay. nice. Welcome sweet, to the class. Dulce. Sweet, que era dulce, ajá, uh -huh. sweet. Gracias. Welcome to the class, ladies, gentlemen. I'm so happy to have you in the class today. I can see just... Five students? Oh my God, five students? 
that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. What's happening with the other students, huh? What's going on? Maybe they are in traffic, huh? It's raining in some areas in El Salvador right now. It is raining, I think. And there's traffic in many places. So I'm very excited to have you around. We're going to get started. Today, we're going to learn how to report a problem. That's the topic today. Report a problem. I'm going to share my screen with you all. With y'all. Uh, tell me if you can visualize my screen. Can you see my screen? No? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One sec. One sec. I can see. Wait, 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 wait. Pero es que no me ha dado la opción para... Ah, ahí está, ahí está. Ok, there you go. Es que me gusta tenerlos acá en un monitor. Ay, ¿qué se me hizo? My gosh, I'm sorry. One more time, one more time. Be patient with the technological uh, resources. <laughs> Let me see. Show? What do you mean? I need show. I need you to show me. It is kissing me on needle. Oh, God. Bueno. Okay. I'm going to use this one then. Okay, welcome everyone. Everyone, we're going to learn how to report a problem. How to report a problem. Um, do you ever call tech support? Repeat, do you ever call tech support? Do you ever call tech support? Tech support. Tech support. Tech support. Do you know what is tech support? Do you ever, if ever, do you ever call tech support? Do you know what is tech support? Support. Technico. Correct. Yeah, I use. I use support. You use. use you use technical technical support. Tech support. Yes, I use. In your company, support. so you call. You call tech support. I call. I call tech support. Ah, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. And the other question is, when do you do it? Okay, so that's very important to know. Do you, Alex says, Alex says that he calls tech support. What about you guys? Do you call tech support in your company? Hello? Yes, I do. You do? Ah, nice, yes. nice. And the other students? Do you do you ever do you ever call tech support? Never. You never call tech support, huh? Ok. Por si no se entiende aún, es como que si llaman ustedes al soporte técnico, like, tienen problemas ustedes técnicos y ustedes llaman a este departamento. So, if so, when do you do it, right? Ok, so let's go over to the um, conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. It's like, it's like a phone call. Es como una llamada reportando un problema, right? This person is calling right here. Aquí está Edwin, right? This is Edwin. And here is Alex, right? 
Uh, Alex is the technical support agent. Technical support agent, yes, with the computer and the keyboard, right? Internet connection, and he can surf and navigate for answers. And this can be, for example, um, Raymond, for example, right? Reporting a problem with the cell phone, calling tech support department. Please listen and repeat. Good morning. This is Peter from tech support. How can I help you? Good morning. Good morning. This is Peter from tech support. How can I help you? Repeat. How can I help you? How can I help you? How? How can I? Can I help you? How do you help? Help. How can I help you? Help you. Help you. How can I help you? How can I can I help you? How? How can I? Can I help you? Help you. How can I help you? How can I help you? Everybody, listen and repeat. Es como una llamada, right? Suena el teléfono. Y ustedes hacen su greeting, su saludo ya en el call center, ¿verdad? Los que se imaginan ya en el futuro. Good morning, this is Peter. Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. Good morning, this is how can Peter I help you? Tech support. How can I how how can I how can I help you? Okay. Everybody, Good everybody. Morning. Okay. This Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Repeat tech support. Tech support. Tech, tech support. Tech, tech es como support. La, el acronym of technical, right? Tech, And this is technical tech support. support. You say tech support. Tech support. Tech support. También tech. se conoce como IT. No sé si han escuchado esa expresión. Si alguien la ha escuchado, también se conoce como IT department. IT. Yes, yes. ¿Has I... escuchado? Yes. Okay, I heard that. Yo he escuchado eso, se dice, I heard that. Repeat. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Tech support, okay. IT, IT department, right? IT department. Oops, what happened here? Sorry. Okay, so um, again, repeat. Good morning. This is Peter from Tax Support. How can I help you? Good morning. This is Peter from Tax Support. Good morning. Support. This is Peter from Tax Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Excellent intonation. How can I help you? Nice, nice. Remember, if you are in the cell phone, you got to sound uh, more friendly. Si es una llamada por teléfono, tenemos que sonar como que más amigable, ¿verdad? Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Saludo. Good morning. Introduction. This is Peter from Tech Support. Offer assistance. Ofrezco ayuda. How can I help you? Okay, personalicemos ahí. Repeat. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. Hi, Peter. Hi, this, Peter. Is Robert. this is Robert. Robert. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. Hi, Hi Peter. Peter. This Robert. is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I am y aquí estamos usando present continuous porque es lo que estoy haciendo en este momento, right? I am calling from the human resources department. I am calling from the human resources department. Perfect pronunciation. Y acá vamos a aprender algo nuevo. Pongan en sus notas ahí esta expresión. I'd like to, I'd like to. 
I like, like to. I Vaya, like este to. I'd like es la contracción de I would. Este es un verbo modal, es nuevo para nosotros, ¿ok? Would. Repeat, would. 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 So, the letter L, the letter L is silent. La letra L es, es muda, right? No la pronunciamos. Sí la escribimos, pero no la pronunciamos. Repeat. Would. Would. I would. I would I like. Would. Me gustaría. I would like. I would like. Me gustaría. I would like. Y ponemos la preposition to. Para dar la dirección de lo que nos gustaría, right? I would like to go. I would like I to would. eat. I, I would, would like, like to, to drink soda. I would like to um, sleep. I would like to work in Canada. I would like. Me gustaría. Podemos usarlo con cualquier otro verbo, ¿verdad? En este caso, gustar. Pero podría decir, I would go. Yo iría. I would travel. Yo viajaría. Es como un futuro in, in perfect future. Something like that, right? So, en este caso estamos usando la contracción de I would, que sería I apostrophe D. Si antes decía I would, repeat, I would, I, I would, would, ahora would. voy a decir I'd, 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 I like to report a problem with my computer. Repeat. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Mm -hmm. Ok, esta es una forma súper, súper formal para expresar una, digamos, una solicitud. Ok, en este caso, I'd like. Imagínense, me gustaría reportar un problema. Es, es very, es very, very formal. I'd like to report a problem. Si no podemos pronunciar un poquito este I'd con la D, I'd, vamos a decir I would like. I would like to report a problem with my computer. Repeat. I would like. I would like. I'd. I'd. I okay, right. let's repeat with no contraction. No contraction. Um, fíjate que esa, Mónica, esa es del presente perfecto. Pero esa ya es otro tiempo. Ajá, esa es ya del, del presente perfecto. Uh -huh. Es como yo he. Y ahí vas a usar el pasado, el participio. Pero ya eso ya es más avanzadito, ¿ok? Yeah. Ajá. Ok. So, I'd like, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Can you repeat? I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Okay. Hola, forma normal. I would like to report a problem with my computer. I would like to report a problem with my computer. Computer, okay. And Peter says, What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? What, what is it? Is what? What is it? It. What? it. What, what is it? Robert? What is it, Robert? Excellent. What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? And the other students, I only hear Alex repeating. Están pronunciando en su casita, espero, ¿verdad? Yes. I hope so. Yes, I sir. hope so. I hope so. No me hagan trampa, guys, que no me estén repitiendo y solo Alex y yo estamos repitiendo, right? Because this is pronunciation exercise. Mm -hmm. Por cierto, uh, no estoy compartiendo cámara porque me siento un poquito mal de salud. Ok, pero aquí estoy con todos los poderes con ustedes. Ok, ok, ok. So, what is it? 
¿qué, qué es? O, ¿O cuál es, verdad? ¿Cuál es? Estamos hablando del, del problem with the computer. What is it? What is it? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? Again. What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. Ok, apuntemos ahí ese verbo, sim. Sim. Con M. Sim. Sim. Lips closed. Otra vez, Alex, labios cerrados. Sim. What sim? Parece, parecer. What seem to be? ¿Cuál parece ser o estar, verdad? What seem sí. to be? O oh, no está, solo está. What seem to? Let me see. No. Como que no estuviera en el trabajo, le dice. ¿verdad? Es como que no trabaja, no, no parece que trabaja. Um, it representa la computadora, right? Ah. Problem with the computer, yes? It does. Entonces, it representa mm. la computadora. It doesn't seem to work. Seem to work. No parece funcionar. No parece trabajar. Uh, okay. Repeat. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't... It doesn't seem to work. It's green blue. It doesn't seem to, seem to work. Seem. Seem. It doesn't seem to work. Correct. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem to work. Parece, al parecer no, no, no funciona, no, no trabaja. Okay. I see. Es como que I understand. Repeat. I understand. I see. You can say I see. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. I see. Repeat. I see. I see. I, see. I understand. Repeat. I understand. I understand. I understand. I see. I see. I got it. Repeat. I got it. 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 Repeat. I follow you. I follow you. I follow you. I, follow you. I, I understand. Ok. I Personalicen ahí. ¿Cuál dirían ustedes? Right? Cuando ustedes comprenden. Right? I understand. I, I understand. I got it. I follow you. Let me ask you some questions. Repeat. Let me, ask, Let me you. ask you some Let questions. Let me ask you some questions. Ask you, ask you some questions. Let me, permítame. Let me ask you, preguntarte. Let, Let me, me ask, you. ask you some questions. Let me ask you. Let, Let me ask you some questions. Some questions. Is that, is that plural or singular? Let me ask you some questions. Singular. Singular. Plural. It's plural. Let me well, ask yes, you. Some. Okay. Some. Some questions. Some questions. Some questions. Yeah. ¿Qué le estoy diciendo? ¿Que le voy a hacer una pregunta o varias? Varias. Varias, varias preguntas. Varias, varias, ¿Y si es solo varias, una? Questions. Let me ask you. A question. A question. Good job. Good yes, job. Yes, I love it. I love it. Okay. Sorry. Teacher Kalev is going to be Peter. And the students are going to be Robert. You ready? Ready to practice? Yes. Ready. Three, two, one. Ready. Good morning. This is Kalev from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the human department. I would like to problem with my problem with my computer. What is it? It doesn't. It doesn't seem to work. Doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I see. 
Let me ask you some questions. Okay, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna personalize, okay? I'm gonna say, instead of Peter, I'm gonna say my name, which is Kalev. And you, you're gonna say, hi, Kalev. This is Alex, or this is Irving, mm -hmm. or this is Patricia, okay? Guys, okay. this is, es como nos vamos a presentar en el teléfono. Sí. ¿Sí? This is. En el teléfono, así nos vamos a presentar, okay? Okay. Hi, this is Robert. En el Hi. teléfono. Robert. Hi, this is Alex. Hi, this is Edwin. Yes. Ready? Personalize the conversation with your own names. Good morning. This is Kalev from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Kalev. Hi, Kalev. This is Alex. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Okay. What is the problem? What is it? It doesn't, it seem, doesn't to seem to work. It, does, it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Um, acá. Human. Hu Human resources. Human resources. Human resources. Human resources. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like. Correct. I would like to report a problem with my computer. I would like to report a problem with my computer. Excellent job. Excellent job. With my computer. Okay. Let's switch. Let's switch. The students start with Peter's role and I will interpret Roberts. Remember, personalize the conversation. Three, two, one. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Alex from Tech Super. From Tech Super. I can help you. You. I help you. Hi, this is Kalev. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. Where, Where is it, it? Where, What is it, it? it doesn't I seem see. to work. I see. I see. I see. Let I me see. ask you some questions. Question. Questions. 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 With letter S, questions. Questions. Let, um, let me ask you questions. some questions. Repeat. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it? Is it? What is it? Is it? What 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 is it? Correct. Okay, 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 okay. What is the way to report a problem? You will say, I'd like to report a problem with my laptop, with my car, with my cell phone, etc. But this is the way for you to report a problem. Okay. So what you're doing now is you're going to answer these questions. Human. Human resource. What is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue with Robert's computer? What is the issue with Robert's computer? Uh huh. Do you know? Do you remember? On the conversation? What is this issue? Uh huh. Do you remember from the conversation? 
resort department. Do you remember from the conversation what is the issue with Robert's computer? Issue. ¿Qué quiere decir issue? In English, Alex, in English. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of issue? What is, what is the meaning of issue? Issue means problem. It's which problems are the months. Do you understand? No. Issue. Issue. Repeat issue. 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 Issue is a synonym issue. of problem. It's a synonym of problem. Yes? Yes. So you can say I have an issue. Or you can say, mm -hmm. I have a problem. Okay. Okay. So again, okay. question number one, what is the issue or, or what is the problem with Robert's computer? It doesn't seem to the issue with Robert's Julio, July. It doesn't seem to work. Repeat. It doesn't seem to work. Doesn't to work. Seem doesn't work. seem to work. This is the problem. This, this is, the problem. is the issue. Yeah? This is the problem. Yeah? This is the issue. This yes? is the issue. Okay. This is the problem with the computer. Doesn't seem Question to work. number two. Esmeralda. Question number two, please. How does he, How does he report the problem? problem? How does he report the problem? Uh -huh. How does he report the, plo the problem? Do you How remember? How does he report the problem? Do you remember? Oh, I see. Let me ask you some questions. Mm, that's not reporting the problem. I want you to remember the modal verb that I taught you so you can use it to report a problem. Do you remember the modal verb? I uh, I like. I like. I like, I like to. I like. I like to. I, I would like to. I would like to. I would like to report a problem. Yes. I would like to, or I'd like I to would, report like a problem. problem. Yes. Esa es la forma que ustedes van a usar en su trabajo, ¿verdad? En un ambiente laboral. Para reportar un problema. No solo para reportar un problema, guys. Pueden hacerlo para solicitar, para, para um, eh, expresar una solicitud de la forma más, más, más profesional. Se los prometo. Would es super, super formal speaking. Entonces, usémoslo porque se van a escuchar muy, muy, uh, how do you say, muy polite, muy cortés, muy professional. I would like. I would like. I would like. I would like. Imagínense, Rob. es como en español, me gustaría, me gustaría reportar un problema. Tienes un problema, pero estás hablando bien professional, right? Me gustaría eh, reportar un problema, right? Um, okay. All right. Okay, let's go to activity four. Activity four. It says, Check which problems are the most common reasons to take to call tech support. Check, check which problems are most common reasons to call tech support. Check which problems are the most common reason to call support. Uh -huh. What are the what are the most common the most common reasons las razones más comunes the most common reasons to call tech support. A ver, here we have some options. Check the vocabulary. Repeat, new software, 
New software. New software. New software. Software. New software. New software. New software. Okay. Do you understand new software? Yes. Yes. No. New software. A ver, chicos, en Spanglish, ¿cómo lo podríamos explicar ahí? <laughs> Nuevo software. Is, is software is a program. New. It's a new program. Yes. yes. Programador. Yes. <laughs> software is, is a new program. It's like a. It's like um, something virtual, right? Something virtual. New program, okay. Next, no internet access. No internet access. No internet. Internet access. Internet. Internet. No internet access. No internet access. No internet access. Do you understand? No internet access. No internet. No hay internet. No hay acceso a internet. Okay, okay. Vayan poniendo ahí sus favoritos ahí. Tienen que checar los más, the most common, los más comunes. Solo los más comunes. Next. A virus. A virus. Repeat. A virus. A virus. A virus. A virus. Do you understand the meaning of that? Un virus. Un virus. A virus. Mm -hmm. A virus. Yes. Like what? Like COVID nineteen. Eliminaron las filas. Ah, like COVID nineteen. <laughs> no. No, it's a different virus, right? It's a different virus. This is a the late first. cyber virus, right? It's a cyber virus on the yes. computers, on your cell phone, right? Next, deleted files. Deleted files. Deleted files. Delete. Repeat. Delete. 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 Apuntémoslo. Solo delete, delete es un regular verb que significa borrar. Borrar. Delete. 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 Aprendámosla, porfa. Delete. 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 Ahí tiene la D porque está en pasado. Deleted. Deleted. Deleted, Deleted. Deleted files. Deleted files. Deleted, Deleted files. Deleted files. Deleted files. Files, do you know what is the meaning? Eliminar archivos. Es como Deleted. archivos que están borrados. ¿No les ha pasado que a veces... Han borrado un archivo, se les ha borrado y quieren recuperar un archivo que está ya borrado. Yes. yes. Se puede hacer, ¿verdad? Con la ayuda de los expertos ahí. Deleted, Deleted files. files. Imagínense que han borrado su tesis ahí. Oh my God. Se puede recuperar, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Deleted did. files. You did that? I did. Deleted files. Oh my God. Ok. Paper stock in printer. Paper stock in printer. Paper stock in printer. Paper stock in printer. printer. Do, you, do you know what is stock? S-T-U-C-K? Do you know? No. No. Ok, apuntémoslo, es atrapado, atorado. Paper stock in the printer. Papel atrapado en la impresora. Sí, les ha pasado que el printer, la, la impresora se traba a veces por el papel, a veces se van dos páginas o más o algo así. Yes. In my work. It happens. Todo el tiempo. <laughs> Every day it happens in your work, huh? Yeah. Especially when you're printing very much. Okay. Very well. Vayan checando ahí los most commons. The most commons. Okay. Next one is USB ports 
out of order? USB ports or out of order. USB ports out of order. USB ports out of order. Out of order. Order. Out. Out. Off. Out. Order. Off. Order. Out of order. Out of order. Out of out of order. Out of order. Vamos, destrabemos ahí. Out. 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 Out of order. Out of order. Do you understand USB ports out of order? USB USB ports out of order. Do you understand? Out of out of service. I'm sorry. Is out of service too. El puerto no reconoce el USB. Sí, o sea que hay una como una desconfiguración ahí, ¿verdad? De los de puertos. Los drives. De los drives. Uh -huh. De los drives. Drives. Ok. Drives. Entonces, los puertos, ¿cómo se dice puerto USB? Port USB. Port. USB. Como es al USB revés, ¿verdad? Port. USB ports. USB ports. Uh -huh. Out of order. Out, Out of, of order is the problem. Out okay. Of order. Next, um, or, funny, 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 funny noise. Funny noise in this. Funny noise Ooh. in the CPU. Correct. Funny noise. Funny noise in, in the, the CPU. CPU. In the CPU. CPU. Es como oh. un ruido ahí, ¿verdad? I don't know. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Sometimes happens. Sometimes happens. Yeah. And then frozen, frozen, not the movie, right? Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. screen. Y ahí labios abiertos, porque no es M, es N. Screen. 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 Uh -huh. screen. Frozen. 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 Frozen screen. Frozen. Frozen. Frozen screen. Repeat, frozen, frozen screen. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Excellent. Okay, do you understand all these issues? Do you understand all these issues? Yes. USB port out. In your out. opinion? In your out. opinion? Out. What or which are out. the most out. common? Which are the most common? Issues. No internet access. No internet access. No yes. Internet. Yes. Definitely. No internet. No internet. Have you? Do you? Does it happen to you that sometimes you call Claro or sometimes you call Tigo because you have no internet access? No internet access. Yes. 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 Hey, I need my internet access. I have class with teacher Caleb, huh? <laughs> All right. What other common issue do you know? Frozen screen. I'm sorry. Frozen screen. Frozen screen que se te queda todo congelado, con right? Con lack of o, o congelado, sí. La queda en la pantalla directo y el, el cursor yeah. ya no. Ya, ya no, no respondió. Claro, nada. Oh my God, I hate that, man. I hate that. <laughs> It happens to me. It happens to me sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we have no internet access, frozen screen. No internet, internet. Which other one? Which other one? A ver, which other one? Ladies, ladies. Y las chicas ahora, ¿qué está pasando? Yo solo he escuchado Esmeralda en... En Tat, en, no, en Mónica. 
What happened? What happened with the female power? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open this other window. See if it works. Hey, what, what do you see on your screen? ¿Aún ven el manual o, o están viendo lo que yo tengo acá? Uh, yes. El yes, manual. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to check this. Um, we're going to check this um, problem. Okay, let me just make it a little bit bigger for you. It says reporting an internet problem. Reporting an internet problem. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. One more time, one more time. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, all right, all right. Do you understand? Do you have any question on this conversation? Uh, yes. Wrong, wrong is issue and problem uh, similar. Issue? Issue and Ground. Can you, can you spell ground? How do you spell that? W R O N G. Oh, wrong. Okay. Wrong. Wrong. No. Wrong, wrong is wrong. Wait, okay. Issue is the synonym of problem, okay? And wrong, wrong is the synonym of incorrect. Incorrect. Do you understand? Incorrect. Yeah, yeah. You got it? Okay. Okay, do you have any question on this conversation? Look. And I understand the conversation. Do you understand everything? Can I you... understand. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, can you tell me what is the problem? What is the issue? Que necesita alguien que vaya a reparar el internet. Okay, okay. Okay. That is correct. That is correct. He has internet problems. Repeat. He has internet problems. He has a problem. He has internet issues. He has internet issues. He has internet problems or... He he has internet issues. Issues. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. Repeat. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. I 
I need somebody to call my my internet. My internet. My internet. My internet. Vaya, os robamos vocabulario aquí, por favor, guys. Tenemos aquí somebody. What is somebody? Somebody. Somebody. Alguien. Alguien. Ok. Apuntemos este verbo fracial porque come es venir, pero come over. Repeat, come over. Come over. Come over. Come over es como me refiero Can a que over. alguien venga a mi hogar. Alguien venga a mi casa. Come over. Come over. Repeat, I need somebody to come over and fix my I internet. Somebody. I need somebody. Okay, this person, this person was not so formal because this person didn't use I would like to. He didn't use I would. Okay, he used I need. It's okay. It's okay. Sin embargo, aquí está sonando algo, algo generalista, ¿verdad? Ya si usamos eh, would, ahí sí estamos sonando super formal. So, take that into consideration. Repeat. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? What's, What's wrong, wrong with, with it? it? With that. With it. With it. With? With? With it. With? With that. With that. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? What's wrong wrong with that? What's wrong with it? Excellent, excellent. Uh, let me see. Hmm. What is what is it? What is it representing? Como esto, 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 esto. Ajá, yo entiendo que es esto, objeto, pero en objeto. este caso, en este caso, ¿cuál es el con objeto? Eso. Está sustituyendo. Con eso, con internet. Correcto. Está sustituyendo. Internet. My sí. internet. Pero, ¿cómo es esa estructura de esa, de esa? No, ¿cómo es que se podría entender lo que quiere decir esa, eh, esa pregunta? Pues, yo estoy reportando mi problema. I need to report a problem. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. 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 Okay. internet. So, this internet. is not a problem, um, you know, a person problem. This is, this is a facility problem. So, the internet is the problem. The problem is not a person. The problem is not a person. The problem is a thing. ¿Y qué sujeto usamos para las cosas singulares? It. 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 Entonces, por eso, what's wrong with that? ¿Qué hay de malo? ¿Qué hay de incorrecto? What's wrong? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? ¿Qué hubiera pasado okay. si yo pongo acá, I need somebody okay. to come over okay. and fix my... Wrong. Okay. It. Plural. With, with My it. televisions. I need somebody to come over and fix my televisions. Plural. Aquí ya no sería it. What's wrong with that? Porque ya sería plural, ya. Aquí sería what's wrong with them? Them. them. Repeat. Them. What's wrong with them? Them. What's wrong? What's wrong with, with them? them? With them. ¿Qué hay de malo? What's Con ellos. Wrong. Aquí estaría What's representando wrong them, them, los televisores. Them. All right, all right. Wrong Estamos ahí. Them. Let's continue. Repeat. For some reason. Repeat. For some reason. For, for some, some reason. 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 It's just not connecting. It's, it's just, just not, not connecting. connecting. For connecting. some reason, it's just not connecting. For some, For some reason, it's just connect. not connecting. Not connecting. Excellent. Ex Traten de imitar la pronunciation al más, to the fullest, guys. To the fullest. For some reason. 
It's just not connecting. Very well. Repeat. How long have you been having this problem? How long, How long have you been having this problem? How long have you been having this problem? How long have you been having this problem? Bueno, esta preguntita se nos podría ser difícil de entender. Pues acá entra el auxiliar que nos comentaba Miss Mónica, ¿verdad? Para el present perfect. Yes. Es una pregunta del present perfect. How long? How long? Dígame, Miss. Adelante. Este, ¿por qué tiene have y having la sentences? La, la, la interro, inter, inter, la pregunta. Pues, interrogative, yes, yes. Eh, fíjese, Miss, que esta es una pregunta del presente perfecto. Ajá. Pero eh, más que el presente perfecto, es el presente perfecto continuo. Por eso es que están viendo el gerundio ahí también. Hasta, hasta donde dice, how long have you been having this problem? ¿Por cuánto tiempo aquí entra el have como auxiliar? ¿Has o ha? ¿Cuánto tiempo has tú estado? Yeah, el verbo be aquí está pasado. en el pasado participio. Pasado. Ok, que es, que es eh, ¿cómo sería? Cero estar en pasado participio es como sido o estado, ¿verdad? Es como, ¿cuánto tiempo ha usted estado, estado, ¿verdad? Estado mm -hmm. teniendo, porque como es un problema actual, right? ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha estado usted teniendo este problema? How long have you been having this problem? Okay. Es, este sí es avanzado, guys. Pero los que quieran irse la mía extra pueden... Um, ¿Qué me dice Patty? Ah, ok. Por eso es que no me participa ahora, Patty. Ok. Entendido, Patricia. Ok. Entonces, se los voy a ubicar acá. Pueden buscar present perfect. Pueden estudiar ahí, present perfect, y también pueden ver present perfect continuous. Continuous. You are so smart, Alex. Very nice. Para ir la mía extra, ¿verdad? Aunque no se me adentren mucho, no quisiera que se me confundan. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me avisen. No problem. Um, y aquí hay otro present perfect, ¿ok? Como él le hizo, ella le hizo la pregunta, ¿verdad? Le está haciendo proving questions, como es de technical support. Los de technical support hacen muchas preguntas. How long have you been having this problem? Repeat, how long have you been having this problem? How long have you been having this problem? Wow, guys. Repeat, how long have you been having this problem? How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. It hasn't been working the past few days. The past few days. The past few days. What is few? Few poco days. Poco días. Correcto. No ha estado negativo. It hasn't. It hasn't been working. No ha estado. No, trabajando en um, pocos días. Correcto. The past few days. Does the internet come up at all? Come on up. Does come the internet up. come up at all? Come up. Does the internet at all? Does the internet come up at all? Does the internet come up at all? The internet come up at all? Come up. Come up. Repeat. Internet. 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 Does the internet come up at all? Come up. Or all. O sea, eh, come up at all. 
viene, le, le aparece el internet, le, le sale que, que está ahí, que carga. It does, he says. It does. Sí, sí carga, sí. It does, but it won't connect to anything. It does, but it won't. It does, but it won't connect to anything. But it won't. Sí, connect. pero no, no se conecta nada. No, no pasa de, de la pantalla del Google, right? De the front, the main page. Okay. Well, elegancy, right? Well, the well, internet isn't down. Well, the internet, well, the internet isn't well, down. Isn't 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 down. Down. Well, the down. Isn't down. 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 Mm, down. Down. Exactly. down. Well, the internet isn't down. Well, the internet. Well, the internet isn't down. Excellent. Well, the internet no se ha caído. Well, the internet isn't down. Repeat. So well, there must be something wrong. There must be something wrong with your connection. So, so there must so be there must something, be wrong, something with wrong, wrong with your connection. There must be something wrong with your connection. Wow. Can you send someone to fix it today? Could you send someone to fix it today? Fix it. Fix it. Could you, could you, could you send someone to fix it today? Could you send someone to fix it today? Guys, así como en, así como en would, en, en could, la L is silent. The L is silent. Could. Uh -huh. Could you send someone to fix it today? Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over. Right away to fix it. Send somebody over right away. I'll send somebody over right over, away to fix it. Always to fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. To fix it. When will they be here? 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 Otro modal verb. They should be there in the next hour. They should be. They should be. They should, they should be. There. They should. Otra vez, la L, the L is silent. Este es otro they modal know. verb. Wow, cuántos modal verbs llevamos ya? They should. 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 They should be there they in the next be. hour. They should be there in the Last next time. hours. Could. Should. Others. Would. Denle una revisadita a estos, porfa, ok? Would. Yes. Acá les dice, they should be there in the next hour. Ellos deberán... Mm -hmm. Ellos deberán estar allá in the next hour. En esa hora. In the next. En la siguiente hora. In the, uh -huh, in the next hour. It's just not. Qué rápido iban a llegar. How long have you been having this? You know, it's, it's not in El Salvador, so that's why. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does, but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. I need somebody to come over oh, and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not sorry. connecting. How long have you I'm sorry, Miss. What did you say? Do you have any question? Teacher, it's a must. ¿Qué significa? Must es para obligaciones. Es, es como se parece el have. Te des, debes de hacerlo. 
deber, debe no, ser, 100%. En este yeah. caso dice, so, there must be something. Entonces, debe haber algo malo, debe haber algo incorrecto, debe estar algo incorrecto. So, there must be something. There must, there must be something wrong with your connection. All right. Esto lo dice el técnico, ¿verdad? Correct. Teacher, eh, nos va a compartir esa página. Que okay, claro que sí, ahorita, ahorita. Right now, my friend. Es bueno ir guardando eh, todos estos links, right? So we can have a better practice in your free time. Vamos a escuchar otro audio. Let me see. We have another audio right here. Thank you, Alex, for sharing it. For resharing it. You're Okay, here's another link I'm gonna share with you, okay? This is another link we're gonna check right now. Let me share my screen one more time. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen now, guys? I can see. You can see it? Okay, good. Office basics. Machine problems. There are many things to say while in the office. Something can go wrong with the printer. Office basics. Machine problems. There are many things to... I'm going to try to make it bigger so you can see it better. I think that's that's the best. That's the best. Basics. Machine problems. There are many things to say while in the office. Something can go wrong with the printer. Or you could be wondering why a package didn't arrive. The next several short lessons will be about basic office scenarios. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? When is the printer going to be fixed? The printer next to the break room is broken. Where is the other printer? The copy machine is jammed again. The copy machine is broken. We need to get the copy machine fixed. A technician is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. Where is the paper for the copy machine? We need to order more paper. We're running low. Okay, one more time. We're going to repeat this uh, vocabulary. And again, you already have this, you already have this link, okay? Uh, on the WhatsApp chat and here on Meet. Repeat. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Do you know what's, what's wrong, wrong with, with the, printer? the printer? Like, do you know what's the problem, right? Do you know what's wrong? Repeat. Do you know what's wrong with the printer? Do you, Do you know, know what's wrong, what's with, wrong the with the printer? Repeat. Who do we call? Who do we call to report a problem with the printer? Who do with we call to report a problem with, with the printer? Thank you. Next. When is the when is the printer going to be fixed? When is the printer going to be fixed? Going to be fixed. Going to be fixed. Going to be fixed. Fixed. Conté. Fixed. 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 No, ahí van dos sonidos. De la X, fix. Y luego de la T, del sonido del pasado. Del pasado, right? En este caso regular por el ED. Be. Fixed. 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 No. Fixed. 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 Correct. Fixed. Correct. 
fixed. Fix. When is the printer going to be fixed? When is the printer going to be fixed? When is wonderful, the wonderful. Going to be fixed? The printer next to the break room is broken. The, the printer room next to the break room is broken. The printer next to the break room is broken. The printer next to the break room is broken. Where is the other printer? 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 The copy machine is jammed again. The copy machine is jammed again. Jammed. 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 Ahora el sonido es de. D. 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 Gem. Aquí era con T, right? Fixed. 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 Aquí es con D. Jammed. Jammed. Jammed again. The copy, jammed. the copy machine is jammed again. Jammed again. Copy machine is jammed again. The copy machine is broken. The copy machine is broken. Machine. The copy machine is broken. The machine is broken. Machine. 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 The copy machine is broken. Eso, eso, okay. We need to get, we need to get the copy machine fixed. We need to get the copy machine fixed. 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 Correct. A technician is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. A technician is coming this afternoon to fix the copy machine. Machine. Teacher, is the pronunciation afternoon or is afternoon? Afternoon. Afternoon. Mm -hmm. Afternoon. Is yes, machine or machine? Machine. Machine. Okay. Machine. Okay. Where is the paper for the copy machine? Where is the paper for the copy machine? Okay, you have any question around here? Any question about this? No? No. Good. Uh, yes. Oh, you have a question? Is hammer. Jammed. Jammed, jammed, jammed. Uh -huh. No, ¿cómo se pronuncia? <laughs> jammed. Jammed, jammed. Jammed. What is? Is the synonym of broken. Ah, uh, what is broken? <laughs> <laughs> es como arruinado, averiado. Ah, uh, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Tiene fallas. Okay, any other question? No more questions. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to the next side. Oops, what's this? It's a commercial, I'm sorry. Teacher is winning. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Teacher is the is the winning. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Alex. Teacher having his punishes. Punishes? Sí, eh, que está en, en, en negocios con los anuncios. Ay, no, me pueden censurar. Por eso a veces mejor les mando los links. Porque no quiero meterme en issues. <laughs> yeah. Ok. Bueno, les voy a dar entonces este tiempo, un poco de tiempo para que ustedes eh, con su equipo, con su compañero o compañera puedan practicar, puedan organizarse, puedan uh, surgir sus ideas for your presentation on the final day, ¿ok? Están todos, estamos todos ahí, alguien va a estar solito. 
¿A quién le hace falta su partner? Porque hay varios que han faltado ahora, ¿verdad? ¿Hello? Hello. Hello. Ok, vamos a ver. Edwin, ¿con quién estás? Edwin. Con Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen. Ahí está, están. Bueno, pónganse a trabajar entonces. Démosle, les voy a dar este tiempo. Ahí, vía WhatsApp, ok. Vía WhatsApp. Ok. Mónica, who are you working with, Mónica? Ay. María Elena. Mónica en María Elena. Let me see, María Elena. Ay, teacher. Edwin dice que vuelva a explicar la presentación. Ok, bueno, es, eh, tienen que escoger un tema eh, de todos los que hemos visto desde el día uno, ¿verdad? Um, hasta el día viernes. Pueden escoger hasta este viernes, right? Todos los temas que hemos visto ya tenemos con... El de ahora serían prácticamente 14, si no me equivoco, 14 diferentes temas. Así que escojan el tema de acuerdo ahí común con su partner. Ok, luego de eso, pues eh, les compartí lo que es un PPT, which is a PowerPoint presentation file. Eh, solo lo tenían que descargar y pues ahí en el, es en el file del, del PowerPoint, ahí van a ubicar la presentación, right? Donde incluya pues los nombres de los participants, or topic, your teacher's name, um, y ahí vas a incluir pictures, vas a incluir fotos, uh, y un poquito de información, porque lo más que quiero es que me hables, no que me leas, right? Entonces, la información en las diapositivas debe ser poquito. Las imágenes sí. Right? Y ahí ustedes ahí explicando right? el topic. Algunos detalles que podemos explicar gramaticales. Right? ¿Qué va primero? ¿Qué va después? Puedes dar alguna fórmula. Todo lo que pueda ser útil. Helpful. Ok. Luego de eso, pues, eh, tienes que hacer un role play. Un role play es una conversación, un... Una interacción corta, ¿verdad? Con tu compañero o compañera usando la temática, usando tu contenido de la exposición. ¿Ok? Teacher, solo hay algo que no entendí. Es que estaba viendo la presentación que nos pasó y en una diapositiva salía de que pedía requerimientos. ¿A qué no, se refiere? No, ahí solo lo borras tú. Ahí solo ah, okay, lo borras, okay. sí. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Any question? Any question? Uh, let me see. Julio, están los JJ, Julio and who? Julio Josué, right? Yes. Ahí están. Dele, entonces. Démosle, guys. I'm going to give you. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, eh, para, en resumen, entonces, se hace la presentación como informando sobre el tema uh -huh. y posteriormente un ejemplo en, en oración entre la persona que uno está haciendo equipo. Co eh, conversación, conversación, una conversación. interacción ah. corta. Uh -huh. okay. y, Recuerden bueno, que tengo, ¿sí? les quería recordar que en la interacción, ah. no de un solo al grano, ¿verdad? Tienen que saludarse, o sea, como empezar de cero la, la, la conversación, saludarse, preguntarse cómo estás, right, in English, y luego pues se van ya usando el el contenido. Ajá, let's go. Ah, es que la compañera Tatiana no no tengo mucho contacto como que pa, este está, está trabajando, creo yo. Mm, es cierto, ok. No han logrado este escoger no, tema ni, ni, ni preparar. Sí, no hemos avanzado mucho. Digamos que en este aspecto yo también no he podido, no he podido decidirme de tema y, y pues ella creo que sí pasa trabajando o está trabajando o haciendo algo. ¿Y tú le has escrito a su WhatsApp? Sí, ella me ha contestado. Solamente que cuando me ha contestado yo estoy trabajando también. Chocan bastante, ¿verdad? Sí, bueno, sí, traten sí. de coordinarse ahí porque de todas maneras aún, bueno, tenemos un par de días todavía, tenemos el weekend... 
Ok, y nosotros vamos a terminar el martes, ¿verdad, chicos? Entonces, el martes es cuando debemos de hacerlo. Tatiana, ¿estás por ahí? Contate igual, ¿verdad? Tatiana, Vanessa, Escobar. Yes. Bueno. Pues mira, ¿qué te puedo decir? La tarea no está tan difícil, ¿verdad? La tarea no está tan difícil y pues puedes hacerlo solito si, si no tienes apoyo. Y para el roleplay vas a estar escogiendo a cualquier compañero que te ayude en el roleplay, ¿ok? Ah, vaya, está bien. Si no, igual, digamos, lo puedo hacer y si ella a última instancia se puede integrar, no hay problema. Excelente, excelente. Perfecto, Bye. muy buena actitud, Alex. Démosle entonces, no sé si alguien más tiene... ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Me pones el topic ahí, Alex, para llevarlo ahí en mi agenda? Ok, listo. Uh -huh. Si no, démosle. Let's go to work. Y regresamos, uh, let's see, 10 a las 10. 10 to 10. Teacher, 10 to 10. teacher, yes. teacher. Yes. Una pregunta más. ¿Y la, conversa la conversación de cuánto debe ser? ¿De un minuto, dos minutos? Pues ahí ustedes lo van a, a, a usar su criterio, porque la presentación en sí, yo necesito por lo menos cinco minutos. Por lo menos. Entonces, en, las, en la presentación, en las diapositivas, yo creo que por ahí se pueden ir de dos minutos y medio a tres minutos, considero yo, right? Eh, y pues los últimos dos o tres minutos pueden usarlo en la conversation on the role play. Ok, entonces, para aclarar bien, por todo solo serían cinco minutos por grupo. Minimum. Ok. Ya si quieres tardarte unos tus diez minutos, eh, tú quieres extenderte unos tus quince minutos. Una eh, hora, güey. <risas> quieres hacerles preguntas a tus compañeros. Tú puedes hacerlo, tú puedes hacerlo, ¿ok? <risas> Let's go to work. Ten to ten. Tienen veinticinco. You have twenty five minutes. Let's go. Work, work, work. Irving, ¿tú con quién vas, Irving? Hello, teacher. Con Mario, creo yo. Mario, creo que se llama. Mario, 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 Mario. Pero he estado viendo ahí si está conectado y no. Creo que tú estás en la misma posición que Alex, ¿verdad? No te he contestado. Ajá. Fíjese que eh, hablé por el WhatsApp con él hace, bueno, ayer en la mañana. Ajá. Y me decía de que el sábado nos vamos a reunir vía Zoom para ver cómo, cómo avanzamos. Pero el trabajo de él y mi trabajo también casi no nos queda tiempo, teacher. Es cierto, en serio. Pero el sábado creo que nos vamos a dedicar todo el día a lo de la diapositiva. Yo le dije a él que, que avanzara con un sub poquito y igual yo lo voy a hacer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bueno, de todas maneras ya están, eh, digámoslo así, este, citados para el sábado, ¿verdad? Por lo menos ha habido contacto. Okay, no sé si alguien más sí, tiene sí. algún fenómeno así como el que está pasando Alex. ¿Alguien más tiene algún fenómeno así para ver si podemos eh, hacer algún cambio? Teacher, una última pregunta. Ajá, Irvin. Eh, yo ya entendí más o menos cómo va toda la metodología de, de, de la presentación, uh -huh. pero eh, tendría que hacer la diapositiva o en PowerPoint, pero para poder transmitirla al grupo, el día de la exposición tiene que ser por una PC, por una laptop, ¿verdad, Teacher? Pues lo que podemos hacer en ese caso es que me la puedes enviar a mí y yo la puedo presentar por ustedes. Uh -huh. Ah, perfecto. Va, uh -huh. Sí, porque eh, yo no tengo teacher y pensaba pedir una en el trabajo, pero no sé si hay disponibles ahorita. Y si no, pues la voy a trabajar y yo se la paso por WhatsApp. Excelente, caballero. Se me olvidó que te iba a decir. Fíjate, te iba a decir algo. Este, Vamos con Alex. ¿Tienes una pregunta, Alex? Sí, teacher, se me había olvidado. Este, me van a extraer una, un diente. Ah, ¿cuándo? Sí, mañana. Y se me había olvidado que no sé cuántos días me van a dejar de incapacidad. No voy a poder hablar. 
pero durante unos tres días o cuatro, solamente que se lo menciono porque no sé qué tanto me vaya a afectar para reunirme con la compañera, porque no sé ella si va a tener tiempo durante los días en que yo pueda hablar. <risa> Que está complicado eso, Alex. No sé qué decirte en este momento. Me has dejado frozen. Y es que yo, yo estaba pensando así, cómo hacer la presentación y, todo, y me puse a pensar, ¿y cuánto tiempo me va a durar la, la incapacidad? Es cierto. Bueno. Si no, este Alex, apóyala en, en lo que sea posible para la creación de la presentación, right? Y si en caso tú no puedes hablar, este, alguien te tiene que apoyar del equipo para hacer el roleplay con, con ella. Ah, ok, vaya, está bien. Cualquier cosa dime, que yo no quiero que tú te sientas presionado ni... No, no, ni... está bien. Ok. Sí, Very es que good. igual ya me acordé que dije, puño, dije, yo iba haciendo malabares y toda la onda y no me acordaba que tengo esa, esa cosa. Sí, sí, a veces tenemos bastantes en la, cosas así en la agenda y es demasiada información. Bueno, eh, los demás démosle ahí a trabajar, ¿ok? Talk to you.
Okay, okay. Okay, dear people, it's time to talk a little bit about a couple of things. First off, I need to remind you that it's necessary for you to um, complete your tasks, your your homework on the platform. Here I can have a I, I can show you a picture of uh, your work. At least we're supposed to have these three weeks completed, which is the first the first uh, three weeks. And this one we can complete it in these days. Okay, eh, quiero felicitar specifically to Edith Hernández, que va muy, muy bien. ¿Quién más podría mencionar? Karen, Elizabeth. Fantastic. ¿Quién más? Mario, Alberto. Vean, Mario está con todo, right? Mónica, also Mónica, very good. Ramón, excellent job. Tati, okay. tienes que subir un poquito acá la tercera semana y pues ya pueden comenzar a trabajar la cuarta semana. I don't know if you have any question about this. You have no questions about this? Okay. In that case, we're going to go to the attendance. Okay, today is Wednesday. So let me ask you, do we have in the house Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar? Yes, no, maybe. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. Creo que ahora es el segundo día que está ausente, Mr. Du. That's bad. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Edwin Alexis Rodríguez. Cortez. Present teacher. Present. Esmeralda Abigail Ramo, no, perdón. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Present teacher. Irvin Joel Morán González. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. Present teacher. Hey, no, no escucho. Present. Perdimos audio, guys. Creo que ya perdimos audio, pero aquí los veo todavía. Oh, you hear me? Bueno, algo pasó, chicos. No los escucho, por some reason. En fin, um, dice, ha cambiado mi micrófono, ha cambiado, bueno, al final nos pasó esto. Bueno, termino con la asistencia, Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez. Ya te veo, Josué. Julio Caridad, Julio César Caridad Valiente. Thank you, Julio. Karen. Present, and... teacher. Yeah. Present. Oh, I can hear you. I can hear you now. <laughs> present, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Felicidades ahí en la plataforma. Siga adelante. Si nos escucha, Thank you, teacher. 
Ok, Laura Guadalupe de Meléndez. Thank you, Laura. María Elena Linares Díaz. Present. Got it. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Mónica Marisela Martínez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present, teacher. Ramón Antonio Escoto Abarca. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Thank you guys for your attention. You did excellent. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Good night, everyone. Be safe. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Get some sleep. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.